This Spider-Man book jumped an amazing $30,000. Want to find out what that book is? Stay tuned. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'm going to wake up with the mindset that one day I'm going to make it. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of the Top 10 Most Expensive Comic Sales of this past week. As always, I'm Will the Comic Beast, and I just want to start off by saying that I've been doing YouTube comic book videos for about three years now, almost my entire teenage life. So please show me the support, show me the love, hit that subscribe, hit that like, hit that notification bell, and comment down below for the algorithm. With all that being said, let's get into this week's video. Alright, kicking the list off, coming in at number 10, we got Saga issue number 1, and we're taking a look at the Fiona Staples Diamond Retailer Summit 2012 Variant Edition, which is limited to 500 copies. This series is brought to you by Brian K. Vaughn and art by Fiona Staples. This book is the first appearance of Marco and Elena, and it's also the first appearance of the Will and Lion Cat, and it's also the first appearance of Prince Robot the Fourth. When this book first came out in 2012, this book was all, was the hype. Everyone was going crazy, everyone had to read it, and then they did about 54 issues, and then they took a long break, and they came back this past year, and they wanted it to have the same reaction as it did when it first started. But unfortunately, it did not have the same reaction. I think they did three or four issues since it came back at issue number 55, and it wasn't the same as it was when issue one first came out. They did a handful of issues, it didn't hit right, and hopefully it does get better down the line, but they are taking another break, probably to revise or take some time to redo what they worked on. It is unfortunate to see for such a hot series, and you know, the creators of this book are probably frustrated in seeing the reaction that this got, so they're trying to bring in some more quality time with the books. And we're taking a look at a 9.8 of this variant, and it sold for $3,000, which is down $339 from the previous sale. Coming in at number 9, we got Superman issue number 33, brought to you by Jack Burnley and Don Cameron. This book is the third appearance of Mr. Mixiplik. I don't know who would name a character that. That's very hard to pronounce, but anyways, moving on. We're taking a look at a 5.0 of this book, and it sold for $4,500, which is up $4,140 from the previous sale. The last sale we saw of this book was back in 2020, and it sold for $360. And aside from the crazy name of this character, this book does have a really awesome cover dating back to 1945. Coming in at number 8, we got Giant Size X-Men, issue number 1, once again. This book has been on the list every single week, and what can I say about this book that I haven't said already? You know, we're trying to already see the X-Men inside the MCU. I know, it's just, we gotta wait until we see that happen in the movies. But until then, this is one of those books that you would just need to have in your collection if you have the opportunity. We're taking a look at a 9.0 of this book, and it sold for $4,999, which is down $300 from the previous sale. This book is brought to you by Dave Cockrum and Len Wein, and this book is the first appearance of the new X-Men. Storm, Nightcrawler, Colossus, Thunderbird, and it's the third appearance of Wolverine. This book is also the first appearance of Ileana Rasputin, and it's also the introduction of Krakoa, the Living Island. Coming in at number 7, we got Spider-Man issue number 1. Last week I talked about this book, only I was talking about the Silver Edition. This time, we're taking a look at the Platinum Edition. And last week when I talked about the Silver Edition, we were taking a look at a 10.0 and how it sold for so much money. And now we're going to see what this Platinum Edition sells for at a 9.8. Now taking a look at the data of this book, this book for the past couple months, going back to the beginning of November, this book has been anywhere around $3,000. But then, on December 30th, we saw this person buy this book for almost double of what it was averagely going for. We saw it sell for $5,700 at a 9.8. Now I just want to stop and talk here for a minute. I do these videos to promote the idea of always doing your homework before you get into buying a big book. The last book that I bought was a 9.8 of Infinite Crisis issue number 5, and I think we bought that book for around $200, and it's not that big of a book, it's not that a lot of money. We did a lot of research on the, before we spent the money and bought the book, or even put in an offer on the book. We were looking at all the previous sales, seeing if we were getting the best of our money, but sometimes people just have that sort of fear of missing out. They have to get that 9.8 so they can have it in their collection. And right here you see a person almost spent double of what it was going for. 
and then they just had to get it into their collection when they could have just been smart and tried to find a different copy of this book. So if you're watching this video and you take one thing away from it, it's going to be the thing that you should always do your homework. You know, you work hard for your money, might as well spend it wisely. Don't get sucked into spending it on bidding wars or things like that. Spend your money wisely. Coming in at number 6, we got Star Wars The Clone Wars, issue number 1, the variant cover by Dave Filoni. I remember talking about this book a couple weeks ago on the same show, and now it's back up on the list. I said last time that this book was limited to 1,000 copies, and it's also the first appearance of Ahsoka Tano. Now, if you didn't catch the last time that I talked about this book, I did mention that this book had 10 copies that were distributed to 100 different retailers selected by lottery. And we're taking a look at a 9.8 of this book, and it sold for $5,901, which is down $3,076 from the previous sale. This book is brought to you by Dave Filoni and Henry Gilroy, and this book has a ton of potential with the Ahsoka series that will be coming out. There's a lot of cast members that have been named for the characters that they will be playing, like Ezra Miller, Sabine Wren, and Hera Syndulla. We are still waiting on the one character, Kanan. I don't know who will be playing him yet, but I'm very excited to see. Hopefully it's someone good. But, you know, I'm looking forward to this TV show. Are you? Leave it in the comments below. Coming in at number 5, we got Incredible Hulk, issue number 181. Brought to you by Herb Trimp and Len Wein back in 1974, this book is the first appearance of Wolverine. This book, just like Giant Size X-Men, has been on the list many times before. I don't know what else to say about it other than what the sale was of this past week. At a 7.0, this book sold for $6,700, which is up $1,300 from the previous sale. Hugh Jackman has been hitting the gym, getting ready to come back as Wolverine in the Deadpool 3 movie. I've been loving the teasers that they've been dropping, and I'm just really looking forward to this movie coming out. Coming in at number 4, we got Ultimate Fallout issue number 4. Brought to you by Mark Bagley and Brian Michael Bendis, this book is the first appearance of Miles Morales. And we're taking a look at the newsstand edition of this book. And no, we're not taking a look at a 9.8 of this book. We are looking at a 9.4, and it sold for $10,700, which is up $1,900 from the previous sale. Now, for all of those that are curious about a 9.8, the thing about this book is that there's only one 9.8 on the census. And I said that the 9.4 sold for over $10,000. The last 9.8 and only 9.8 sale of this book was back in 2020, and it sold for $8,100. So what is it today, you may ask, is a question that we all want to know. If I had to guess, I'm guessing that the newsstand copy of this book is well over $20,000 at a 9.8. Coming in at number 3, we got Frankenstein, issue number 1, brought to you by Dick Briefer. This book is a premiere issue of a series created by Dick Briefer that follows a humorous adventure of Frankenstein as he returns from the war and settles into small town life. This book was published back in 1945, and if you've ever seen the movies like Coraline or Paranorman, this book should be right up your alley. This is my first time ever seeing this book, and this is why I like doing these videos, because other than the books than Hulk 181 and Giant Size X-Men, every once in a while it shows you a cool book that I've never seen, and this is one of them. You know, with the whole Coraline and Paranorman, the way they draw the characters with like the triangle head, this is exactly what we're seeing on this cover of Frankenstein. We're taking a look at an 8.5 of this book, and it sold for $11,999, which is up $3,599 from the previous sale. There have been three sales of this book at an 8.5, and other than the one that I just showed you, the one before that was back in September for $8,400, and the one before that was way back in 2015 for $3,346. We're seeing quite a price jump for this book in about 7 years. And that goes for every other book in the Golden Age. We're seeing a pretty big boom within those books right now. Now for all those wondering what the highest grade sold for this book was, we're taking a look at a 9.6 and it sold back in September of 2021 and it sold for $28,800. Now personally I'm guessing that today if there was another sale of this book at a 9.6, I'm guessing that it would be in the 30,000s. Alright, we're down to the wire with these last two books, and these last two books have been on the list before. Coming in at number 2, we got Fantastic Four, issue number 1. We're taking a look at a 4.0 of this book. This book is the first appearance of the Fantastic Four, and it's their origin as well. This book is also the first appearance of Mole Man, and it's also the first appearance of Tricyphilus. 
This book is brought to you by the iconic duo of Jack Kirby and Stan Lee, and this book at a 4.0 sold for $26,400, which is down $1,838 from the previous sale. And for all those wondering what a high grade of this book goes for, the highest grade that we've seen sell for this book right now is a 9.2, and it sold for $1.5 million. And coming in at number one, we got Amazing Fantasy, issue number 15, the first appearance and origin of Spider-Man. This book is also the first appearance and death of Uncle Ben, and it's also the first appearance of Aunt May and Flash Thompson. This book is brought to you by Steve Ditko and Stan Lee, and we're taking a look at a 9.0 of this book, and it sold for $52,800. And this book had a heck of a jump. It jumped up $37,100 from the previous sale. Now taking a look at this grade, you notice that it has a purple label, and what a purple label is that it means it's a restored grade, and a restored grade is that a book could have color touch-ups, it could be new staples were added, and it could be overall freshened up. But this book had a color touch-up, the tears were sealed, and it was also reinforced. And it's crazy to see that this book way back in 2010 at a 9.0 and restored is sold for $6,500. And now looking at the book today, it sold for over 8 times of what it was going for back then. But that wraps up this week's episode of the top 10 most expensive sales of this past week. Make sure you all hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell, and comment down below what book you're going after. Before you all leave, I just want to let you know that you should all go check out my shorts that I make for the YouTube. You know, they're less than a minute, and it's just showing some of the books that I pick up. Some funny videos that are also in there. Like recently, I picked up a book. Uh, I'm blanking on it right now. What was it? Something, something to do with Batman. Uh, I think you're going to have to watch the short to see what I got. Anyways, I'm Will, the comic beast. Make sure you go check out those shorts, and I'll catch you next time.